What's going on y'all? Roman here from Left Eye Right Eye back at you with another Everydays. Today is Friday, November 12th. Um, and today I um, spent a really long time on a tiny sound. Um, I jumped into Absinthe and uh, Absinthe 5. Um, I wanted to like work with MIDI today. I was trying to like, I really haven't put MIDI into Pro Tools or worked with MIDI much at all. So, well, in Pro Tools, definitely remembered doing a lot of it in Logic, um, but not so much in Pro Tools. So I was trying to mess around and record in on, I couldn't record in using the keyboard on the synth. I was able to click in and draw it in here in the MIDI editor window. So I'm going to keep messing around and Googling stuff. Um, but then I recorded it in and it was just a sine wave. That was me kind of zooming in. And I noticed that the entire time I was trying like to make, I was trying to add artifacts from digital things to kind of give it more of a of an, a natural audio sound. So I, I threw the sans amp on there and I was like not really able, I really found it just focusing on this one little sound right here the whole time. And I was trying to add all these different plugins to get it to like create artifacts or like make it sound not like super digital. Um, and I couldn't really do it. And I wanted it to, I wanted the volume to kind of curve parabolically. I found out that you can't do parabolic or S curve with the pencil tool on um, volume automation, in case anyone's wondering. <laughs> so you have to draw it in. So I was like drawing it freehand, but I fucking suck at drawing. So I kind of just did a line thing. I got it sounding kind of how I wanted. Um, this is where I wish I had a, a control surface because I would have just grabbed a, a fader on, um, you know, fucking latch mode or touch mode and, and just, um, I would have done it like that. So anyway, yeah, so I, I kept trying to create more artifacts and I, I compressed it and all this stuff. And when I zoomed in, it was still a pattern. Like it was still as, as wild as the pattern was, you could still see that it was repeating. Um, just at lower volumes, so I was trying to figure out how to create more noise um, and, and it really wasn't until I hit the delay that it worked. I, I put a delay on there. I lowered the sample rate and the bit rate in a different, a different plugin and when I put the RC24 on there um, and I printed that, then it really started to, the shape was very um, unpredictable, which I liked. And so I kept that and then I kind of compressed it or I normalized it and then I time crunched it super tight and uh, then I reversed it and um, put it together and made it sound like a little whip. So that's all. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Uh, God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.